Welcome to CAD Tutorials and in this video I'll be covering practice problem 4.4 and we are asked to find Vx using superposition so of course we can use any other method to find Vx but we are specifically asked to use superposition and therefore we uh, turn off or we deal with one uh, independent source at a time and we have a dependent source in this case, which remains intact no matter what. So we are going to start by finding the contribution as superposition. So Vx is equals to the algebraic sum of the contribution of all the independent sources. And the independent sources which I have in this case are the 20 volt uh, voltage source and the 4 ampere current source. So the contribution of those two, adding those up, we actually find Vx, and that is what superposition is about. So we found the, we first find the contribution of one independent source, or we deal with one independent source at a time. So let's first find the 20 volt contribution. 20 volt contribution. So in this case, we leave the 20 volt where it is. And we actually remove any other independent sources in the circuit. So the only other independent source is the 4 amperes. So we remove that. Removing that, we are going to be left with a um, open circuit at that point, and which means we are going to have the rest of the circuit like this. So we're going to have 4 ohms, and we're going to have that. So all the time for superposition, the dependent source stays intact. So we do not remove this source because it is an independent source. It is a dependent source, sorry. And Vx is labeled as the node voltage and all of that is one node. So we are going to use nodal analysis, which you are probably familiar with at this point. So we are gonna use nodal analysis to find Vx. So doing that, we're going to say Vx subtract 20 divided by 20 plus Vx divided by 4 and then subtract 0 0.1 Vx is equal to 0, right? And we are basically assigning these signs as we have because I like using the rule that says for the currents which go out of the node, so those that go out of the node are positive and those that go in the node are negative. And that is why this is negative because it's going in this Vx node, right? And all the others are positive because I took them as going out of the node. Like that, right? So this is uh, basically a math problem now. So this, is, this Vx is the contribution, as I've said above, this is the contribution of the 20 volt source by itself. So just doing some quick math, so we're going to say Vx subtract 20 plus uh, multiplying through by 20, you're going to have 5 Vx and subtract um, 2 Vx is equal to 0. So that and that, that is a 3 Vx. Added to that, added to that, sorry, that is 4 Vx is equal to 20. Divide both sides by 4, then we are going to have Vx is equal to 5 volts. And that is the contribution of the 20 volt voltage source. Now moving on to the 4 ampere contribution, we are also going to use nodal analysis to find it. So doing that and using the same rule that says currents that go out of the node are positive and those that go in are negative, we are going to have that going out, we're going to have Vx divided by 20 and this is going in so it's negative 4 and that is going out Vx divided by 4 and then subtract uh, 0 0.1 Vx because we see that it's going in the node and multiplying through by 20, we are going to get Vx subtract 80 plus 5Vx subtract 2Vx is equal to 0. Now just combining this, this is 3, added to that becomes 4, and then taking the 80 to the other side of the equal sign, and this is what we have, and then divide both sides by 4, then we have Vx is equal to 20 volts. And therefore, finally, since we said that uh, using superposition, Vx is the algebraic sum of the contribution of the 20 and the 4 amperes. And 
we found the contribution of the 20 volts to be 5 volts and the contribution of the 4 amperes to be 20 volts. And adding those two will give us uh, a final value of 25 volts. And that is the value of Vx.